Cheeky Richo's Homemade Mascarpone Cheese. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's How to Make Mascarpone Cheese in the Thermo Chef. The ingredients, and there are only three of them, are in the recipe box below and scrolling as I speak. The first thing that we're going to do is put our unsalted butter, which has been cut into chunks, into our Thermo Chef jug. Then we're just going to add our full cream milk. And we're going to process this until it's well combined. Speed 7 for 15 seconds. And this is what you should have. Now we're going to heat it to 90 degrees for 5 minutes on speed 1. Okay, when we've finished making our mascarpone cheese, I'm going to use a colander, which is going to be lined with a handbag, which is just a calico bag, which will allow the whey to drip through and retain the solids. Now if I set that into that bowl, it would still be sitting in the whey. Get one of my pinch bowls here, pop it underneath, sit that on top of it and it will give it enough elevation there to allow the moisture to drip around to facilitate the right amount of drainage for our curds. So, so when we get to that point, that's where that's going. Okay, after five minutes, that's what you should have. A very milky, buttery, hot mix. Okay, that temperature is hovering between 89 and 90 degrees at this stage, or it's 91, probably a bit close to the blades with the thermometer. And 90 degrees is what you're after. Now we're just going to blitz it on turbo speed for 20 seconds. Pop a cloth over it so that it doesn't splash out of the little measuring cup hole. Add our tartaric acid and then mix it in turbo speed for 10 seconds. Okay. And this is what you should have. It's creamy yellow. It started to thicken already. Now we put it aside to cool down. I'll show you how it started to thicken. It's already a little bit like a very thin pouring cream. And once it's cooled slightly, we're going to pour it into our pre-prepared strainer lined with our calico. I just decant it into a bowl to cool because I don't like to leave it sitting in the jug. It will continue to cook and could burn onto the base, spoiling the cheese. Okay. Our mascarpone cheese mixture has cooled, it's starting to set. Now we're just going to pour it carefully into our prepared cloth lined tray. See how it's starting to thicken up now? Now we're going to pop this into the fridge overnight until it sets. And there you have it, Chiggy Richo's mascarpone cheese. We've got very little waste. Just lift it out. That's the fluid there that's been a byproduct of it. And we're just going to scoop it into our bowl. And it's ready to make things like cheesecakes, desserts. It's very cold. And tiramisu's. I'll just put that fall in there. It's really quite firm because it's been a cold part of the fridge. There you have it. Cheeky Richo's Mascarpone Cheese. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. And that's just the way that was left over. There's not too much there and we'll be going in our breakfast pancakes. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.